All right, you guys know what it is. Happy, happy Monday. Um, what's happening? This is your man, Just Jay Sama, and we're back with another video that nobody asked for. Um, today, we're covering something very, very interesting. I haven't read the full article. Um, I also have not paid attention uh, to all of the other news that has come out. But um, last week, we had uh, Ubisoft's conference call. I say we, like I was there, like I'm employed by these people, but clearly I'm not. I just ride that dick like a pogo stick. Nigga, you gay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so apparently they went over their earnings for Q4 of last year um, and all of the other stuff that they got into. Um, so apparently they're developing an Assassin's Creed mobile game, um, which I particularly do not care for. Um, <laughs> I, I know for a fact they're looking to make more money this year in 2021. They got real, real boss, real ambition, ambitious type moves, uh, especially with Rainbow Six Quarantine and all of the microtransactions that they have planned for that game. They've already ta started talking about aftermarket stuff for that. We, they've also talked about, let's see, in their conference call, what else did they talk about? Uh, the division is getting some new DLC, so they're worried about that. So that's one other thing that's coming. So I'm... I'm not particularly excited about that anymore, um, only because I don't care for the division like that anymore. Um, I did at one point in time, like uh, upon release, of course, but as of right now, it's kind of like, mm, who really cares? Um, only because the game just is way too grindy, but I mean, I've already talked about that enough times last year and the year before that, um, so it is what it is. But the one thing I am looking forward to is their new Star Wars game, so now that the license for Star Wars, Disney had, has decided, you know what, uh, EA no longer gets rights to this, uh, 100%, so we're gonna license this out to other people. I am very, very interested to see what they come up with. Um, I, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan anymore. Uh, the last few movies made sure that I didn't say a fan only because they're boring as shit and we should have had a new Black Jedi, but that's a different story for a different day. Um, so hopefully they do some type of single player thing. Um, I don't know, depending on what you guys want, uh, maybe that'll, that'll probably be the way they go. Like you guys are a lot smarter than I am, except for when it comes to like the dumb shit that nobody fucking cares about. Um, so yeah, I, I actually want a single player RPG style game. I really enjoyed, uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, I thought that was extremely, extremely fun. It was very refreshing. I actually want some DLC for that. Um... So that'd be really cool, but I don't know if we're going to get that anytime soon because uh, the way EA runs things is like uh, really fuddy-duddy. So yeah, we got a new Star Wars game coming if you guys are excited about that. And then they posted all of their actual like earnings and how much, you know, their sales and stuff like that. And apparently one of the biggest, uh, one of the games that had the biggest turnaround was not Assassin's Creed, um... Valhalla, they were expecting a lot more sales for Valhalla, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. The game's kind of crap. Um, Odyssey actually took a huge jump this year. Uh, they saw, I think it was a 12% increase uh, from previous sales. So we're probably going to see some more Assassin's Creed content. Personally, uh, I'm down for another game. But I know there's a really, really big conversation going on. I don't want to say it's controversy, but there's a conversation going on about the new Assassin's Creed mobile game. And a lot of people are a little upset that it has, um, it takes place in China. So, which we've already had, uh, Assassin's Creed China. But my thing is, why won't they just give us Assassin's Creed Japan? You know what I mean? Like, why won't they give, give us feudal era Japan, uh, we're talking like samurais, fucking, you know, shogun, like all, to all types of dope shit, you know what I mean? But they'll introduce a mobile game with that aspect. So it's, I mean, not Japanese, of course, but it's Chinese. So it's like, duh, just give us the shit that we want. I don't, I don't understand why this is so hard. And honestly, seeing how the last, how the most recent Assassin's Creed tr trilogy has performed, uh, with their RPG take, and we're, we're talking specifically uh, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. I think they've progressively gotten worse. Uh, Origins, I, as you guys know, is one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games of all time. I've talked about it many a times on this channel. I've covered it hundreds of times and hundreds of hours of content and live streams and shit like that. Um, and Odyssey got worse. 
and then Valhalla is just boring. Like, I like a lot of the stuff that Valhalla does. I like a lot of the stuff that Valhalla introduces, but I'm just bored. I don't know if it's the Anglo-Saxon era with, like, like any of that shit. Uh, I don't know if it's the lack of uh, diverse characters or, you know, people who aren't screaming at the top of their lungs trying to murder stuff, everything that moves. Like, I don't really... I don't really care for that. I prefer more dynamic characters with like different sway swaying opinions. But this is also coming from somebody who's only played 42 hours of a 120 hour game. So, uh, you know, maybe I don't know shit. Maybe I don't know shit about shit. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I I want to see I want to see some more some more Assassin's Creed. Sure, let's give it one more shot. I don't see why not. Um, going into 2021 and 2022, I think there's plenty of stuff that. Ubisoft can do at this point. I mean, I prefer another Rabbits game, so but that's just me. One that's actually a multi-platform that would be really fun. Don't single it out to the Switch like they did the last one, uh, which actually upset me personally. Um, I would also like to see them get some new licensing. Um, as as a bunch of us uh, fucking anime nerds and weebs and shit, we saw that uh, this past week we got uh, the Demon Slayer game, got some some gameplay and stuff like that, which is cool. Uh, CC2 is developing that one, which are the same people that do Naruto Storm. Uh, although, however fun that may seem, I'm just kind of annoyed with it. I really think that it's, you know, we'll probably make another video on this uh, for tomorrow. Um, but I'm just a, a little annoyed with it. They had a chance to do something completely different from the ground up. Um, personally, one of my favorite Naruto games of all time is Broken Bond, which is a Ubisoft game. Uh, funny enough. So I really would like to see Ubisoft, uh, give one of their development teams some, some anime licenses, some, some kind of different you know like bring splinter cell back like that'd be really fucking dope i would really appreciate that i mean hitman came back so we got a hitman 3 uh i don't know who was asking for another hitman game but i mean that we got that and then uh the prince of persia game got delayed until like further this year so you know it is what it is it is what it is um there's a little bit of information here on how uh ubisoft massive i call them ubisoft massive because they don't develop any other games except for ubisoft um they have a, a division event going on right now for resident evil so that's kind of cool um but that's pretty much it like that's the general gist ubisoft has made a little bit more money this year uh, last year than they did before. We're getting a new Assassin's Creed game. We're getting a new Star Wars game. That's basically the gist that you guys need to get from that. Um, I don't really have anything to add. I don't, I'm literally just reporting it. Like I kind of, I kind of give a shit, but I kind of don't. Like I said, I, I enjoy a lot of Ubisoft games and I buy them regardless, but I mean, I don't know. It's looking kind of sketch. And then of course they moved back Far Cry 6, which is honestly the only game I was really looking forward to. So, uh, we're going to be doing some real nigga gaming when that finally comes out, <laughs> if it ever comes out. Uh, so that'll probably get pushed to 2022, honestly. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think the way, although depending on how COVID goes and stuff like that, uh, the way that they've been handling games lately is just not, not to my personal liking, but I mean, you know, they don't make games specifically for me because if they did, they'd make Watch Dogs 2, uh, they make a sequel to Watch Dogs 2. So, um, but it is what it is, but let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Uh, I really, really, really want to know a lot of my, um, recent followers are uh specifically from assassin's creed videos so that'll be great also uh if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe to like today's video um i'm just gonna say man you know what i think we're gonna give assassin's creed maybe two or three more games before they decide to like really shake shit up again because they're really getting complacent with the way that they make things and which made them shake up stuff in the first place um and then we got origins out of it so there was that um so i'm really looking forward to any of the changes that they have but um but that's pretty much it for today guys uh let me know all of your thoughts comments opinions all that other shit that i'm interested in and not interested in down in the comment section below uh this has been your man jay i'll catch you guys next time make sure to keep it canon